This actor turned R&B singer is being accused of some nasty stuff. Fans claim Marquise Houston married his child bride and had been allegedly grooming her since she was 15. What's creepy about this story is that his wife, Maya, was a missing person. And when she reappeared, she was magically marrying this 40-year-old man. There's something scary going on here, so let's get into it. So this story is exactly why children need protection in Hollywood. I found this disturbing tweet and I knew I wanted to talk to you guys about it. So Marquise Houston married a 19 year old who was reportedly missing since she was 15 and she just popped back up dating him once she was legal age. These men really are getting away with crimes in broad Daylight. There's this man out there named Marquise Houston, who's famous for playing the role of Roger on the 90s sitcom Sister Sister. Hi Tamara, I just wanted to tell you that I saw you in school today and you look really, really righty. So Marquise Houston is an actor, a former child star, and he's also a singer with a bunch of music. And while he's been in R&B groups and had a solo music career, he's best known for his role as Roger Evans on the show Sister Sister. And it seems like he's still really good friends with Tamra. He appeared on the show The Real and it seems like they're best buddies. I met you when you were like nine, yeah. right? Wow. Yeah, I was nine. And we're still friends now. Yes, we are. Okay. He even went to my wedding, which Aww. was amazing. Oh, yes, wow. like the boy. Poo -poo <laughs> what is that? I don't know why. I don't know. When what I saw, is, yeah, yeah, just, explain. It, what, it, what is it, a poo -poo nini? It's, Exactly. It's like a poo -poo nini is just what they we are. You guys must admit that that clip is pretty cringe, but today we're talking about his controversial relationship with a minor who ended up becoming his wife. Marquise is married to Maya Dickey. They married on August 24th, 2020, and they have a 19 year age difference. They also have a child together named Zara. Someone wrote on Twitter that his child bride had his baby. Someone replied and wrote, I just saw that talking about they kept it private to avoid scrutiny about the age gap. Yeah, sir, you're like 20 years older than her and started dating her when she was 17. Which, if that's true, I'm pretty sure it's illegal, but there's so much more to this story and it gets so complicated and confusing because at some point Maya was a missing person. So her name is Mayana Dickey and she was reported missing by her adoptive parents in August 2016 at the age of 15. It was believed that she traveled back to her birth mother who lost custody of her in 2012. It is so creepy to see these missing person reports on the internet because I have an idea of what happened to Maya and most of these have been scrubbed from online, but I also found a posting on Facebook that refers to the missing person case. People discovered that Maya Houston, real name Mayana Juanita Dickey, was on the missing persons list since she was 15 years old, and she didn't pop back up until she conveniently turns 18 in 2018. So let's talk about what happened to Maya while she was missing. So there isn't much info on Maya between 2016 through 2018, but she was credited as an art director for a number of Chris Stokes movies spanning between 2015 and 2019. As you guys can see, here's a screenshot of her IMDb page, and she's been credited for being an art director. And it's not really clear what she would have been doing because at this point she was was pretty young. If you guys don't know who Chris Stokes is, he's an older gentleman who's been in the business for a while. He's an American filmmaker and former record executive. And it seems like he has a relationship with Maya. Quote, Maya is like a daughter to Chris Stokes because we are all like family. Being Jehovah Witnesses, we showcase true love like family. Let me go ahead and break down this thread for you guys, which I will list below. 
They write, okay, let's get into the facts about Marquise Houston and his child bride, Mayana Dickey, and how it links to the mastermind behind it all, Chris Stokes. Let's talk a little bit about her IMDb page, because she was between the ages of 14 and 18 years old when these movies were released. What art director out there is under the age of 18. Also, her IMDb page is no longer out there. It's been wiped from the internet, which is very convenient because the paper trail is lost. It seems like Marquise Houston and Chris Stokes are best buddies because they're both really strong Jehovah Witnesses, which they go around and knock on people's doors to try to convert them. They attend these conferences. They're very invested in this religion. Many question their intentions as the faith is known to protect controversial people and cover up very harmful things. So there are some bad Jehovah Witnesses out there, and I'm sure there are some good ones. I'm not trying to make a statement. I'm just telling you guys the story. And why I think this is relevant is because Marquise uses the religion to justify his relationship with a minor. Back in 2018, there was this countdown that Marquise had on his Instagram, and on October 7th, the countdown ends. Jehovah Witnesses do not celebrate holidays or birthdays. Marquise posted sunflowers to signify that Maya became an adult and therefore was ready for him. Some people commented on this Instagram post and this woman wrote, today is the day, which if you look at her Instagram and the bio, there's like a little note that points to Jehovah Witness. Um, another person writes, isn't this the last day of the countdown? Someone else agreed and replied, I was thinking that too, that countdown seems to have stopped. So just to summarize this, Marquise has this random countdown on his Instagram and it's counting down until his child bride is 18 years old, which he wasn't really clear about because obviously he's not going to go and state that. But quickly after she became 18 years old, he asked her to marry him. So how would he know he would like to marry this 18 year old days after she became an adult. Marquise was hiding this young girl from the public, having a secret romantic relationship with her while he waited for the whole affair to be legal. This would be only two years after he met her at the age of 13. And even if this is somehow not the truth, they got engaged only 11 days after her 18th birthday, which is proof enough for me that this guy was, at the very least, straight up creeping. There's no doubt in my mind that this man was creeping, and as soon as she was 18, he showed her off. Since she was now of age, the floodgates opened for Marquise Houston to show off Maya as his love. Maya's Instagram posts referred to Chris Stokes, this other guy who, um, again, is a crucial figure in this story, as her spiritual dad, and Chrissy Stokes, his daughter, as her sister. So, Someone writes, they ask, uh, what in the incest is going on here? So now the media starts to pick up on their relationship and people are critical. Marquise posted this Instagram photo of him and his wife and he wrote this long explanation about how he met her through a mutual friend back in 2018. Before that, he had no idea that she even existed. The fact that she was listed on one of our films was a misprint talking about the IMDB page, which, uh, wow, that's a, a convenient misprint. Maya is like a daughter to Chris Stokes because we're all like family. Being a Jehovah Witness, we showcase true love like family. That's it. Chris's real daughter, Chrissy Morales, became friends with Maya in 2018, where we all first met Maya at a Jehovah Witnesses convention. It was then that Chrissy and Maya became friends. Maya and I didn't start dating until she was an adult. He calls all of this rumors that he had been with her before she was an adult and um yeah it sounds really defensive for someone who if you're you know if you weren't with her as a minor why would you even really need to defend this but there are some key lies in his statement which makes him look pretty guilty first off marquise houston could not have met maya in 2018 because he's credited as a writer for the chris stokes movies that maya is also credited on then secondly if they all met at a convention and chris stokes daughter chrissy became best friends with maya then why wasn't she included in the wedding 
wedding. Furthermore, why does no one acknowledge Maya's existence until she turns 2018? If they were like family, then why wasn't she included in pictures or posts or really anywhere? They pretty much kept this girl a secret while she was a missing person until she became 18 and then she's just like Marquise's wife. Now slip up number three, because by his own admission, Marquise Houston knew Maya was underage when he first met her. And so he waited until she was an adult to pursue a romantic relationship. In his statement, he wrote, Maya and I didn't start dating until she was an adult. So he was interested in her while she was a minor. Then in the same statement, Marquise brings up his father, claiming that the people closest to him approved of this relationship and he has Jehovah's blessing to justify his actions. Notice that there's nothing being said about Maya's family or her friends or her thoughts. There's really no reference to her life previous to becoming an adult and becoming his partner. So this makes me think that they like took this girl from wherever she was before, kept her in their care because she's being credited as an art director. I guess she's technically working in Hollywood. And then once she becomes 18, she's just like with this man who's in his 40s. Like, I don't know why he's interested in such a young girl, but I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below, because it does seem like this Chris Stokes guy has like his hand in play. And there's like this kind of like cult energy coming from their relationship with Jehovah's Witness. If you guys go onto Twitter, you can see that people agree that Marquise Houston is a creep for this. And there are some things that just do not add up. But I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Here is my email. If you have any other video ideas for me, let's go ahead and open this peel box package item um it looks like it's from hmm looks like it's from another country oh canada dear sloan my name is manon i'm from quebec canada so please excuse my bad english i'm friends i listen to your youtube channel all the time every day and i recently discovered it and i can't get enough what i like most from you is your honesty kindness and empathy and your realness oh it's so sweet your side of the stories are human kind and straightforward i think that somebody who is publicly famous should always be a model for others so they have to do right oh i love that please promise me to stay grounded truthfully and a good storyteller fact seller <laughs> i need this in my life stay good youtube friend because you like positivity um, my husband is a writer and i gave you his book take control short stories um it's easy to read and the english is better than mine you have to read the story and put your reality in it um stay yourself stay strong oh thank you so much manon take control cute i'll list I'll, I'll list the book below and the wrapping is really nice that's really sweet of you i love that you thought of me and to send this to me and i'm excited to dive in so if you guys want to check it out um i'll list it below but it looks like it is an easy read like it's not like too overwhelming at all so thank you so much i really appreciate the letter and i'll see you guys in a new video soon bye guys <laughs>